We are going to be measuring the time it takes the car to travel a distance of one meter. The force the entire time will be constant. The force of gravity, which is going to pull the car down when the weights at the bottom are released. We're going to measure three trials to find the time it takes the car to travel that distance. You'll be recording it in your data table. First, we'll do it without any added mass with zero washers added to the car itself. As you can see, its little cargo compartment is empty. We'll do three trials. From that, you can add your three and divide by three to find the average time. You're going to square your time, not times two, times itself. Then one divided by your time squared is going to be your acceleration. We're going to repeat that for adding two washers, which is going to add mass. We'll show you what that's going to look like. You're going to have to coordinate with your group as far as timing. You're going to hit start and release the weight at the bottom to pull the car down. You're going to make sure to stop the timer when the car gets to the end and do your best to catch the car so it's not crashing into the floor. All right, Ms. Morell, are you ready? Yes, here we go. Go. Perfect. So record, repeat two more times, then we'll repeat the entire experiment by adding some mass to the car. We'll repeat and see how that affects its acceleration. Remember, force is constant. It's just the force of gravity pulling it down. And then repeat with more mass added, and then you'll be able to complete your data table and analyze your results.